Hello everyone. In this segment we're going to look at one of the pottery masterworks of the 20th century. In their wonderful book Harlow and Landman in figure 1813, the wonderful book The Pottery of Acma Pueblo, they show an image of a masterful Acma Oya and then devote two full paragraphs to this wonderful achievement of pottery and sometimes we just get lucky. Some of the great pieces of pottery never reappear in the art market. They go into private collections, they end up being left uh, to museums. In this case, we're so fortunate and this wonderful piece of pottery has come, come available again. There are only a couple of known pieces of pottery according to Harlow and Landman with this rather stunning and amazing and totally unique image of, of an eagle. Harlow and Landman described this as painted in a cellular fashion and I think that's correct both in uh, the, the wings, uh, in the, the yellow breast, and then with this, 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 this lovely fancy tail made of parallel fine lines and curved cloud-like elements at the end. The jar has several design fields. The top field with the eagle also has elk with horns painted in a beautiful deep black against this, this soapy white Acoma slip. The elk parade around the jar. There are lovely abstracted flower elements and as you can see one of the flowers creates a four color overall scheme for this pot but it's not four colors that scream at us. It's subtle. You almost have to look to see, oh yes, there's orange, there's yellow, there's black and white four colors. As we move down the jar, there's these, this beautiful cross hatching uh, effect skillfully done. This is a great potter who created this, this particular pot. And down at the bottom, these lovely uh, uh, orange, yellow, and black wave-like elements. Uh, an important water element which gives movement and a rootedness to nature and water to this jar. And then this, this swirling movement in the middle uh, which gives a sense of, of, of wind, a checkerboard element of perhaps the center of things. With all that, we don't really know this beautiful jar until we pick it up. It's astonishingly light. It's like picking up a teacup. This is a great piece of pottery, one of the best pieces of pottery I've ever seen, created by a masterful potter and painter and fortunately available for us to enjoy again today.